people drift in and out of your life. Sometimes it's a burden. Sometimes it's a joy. Chris was both. Tasty legs. Where's the meal? What are you, a food critic? Consumer of content. I was just wondering if there was anything other than a fancy package. You know I live to please you. You would, if I wanted you to. From all I've seen of politics, it's just a greasy big money stick geared to run on tongues so slick to make you think this is all there is. You got Humphrey, how they con the little middle man into thinking he has got a hand to play in the future of the promised land. He owes himself to the destiny of man, gets ridiculous. Cheap gangster can hire someone to do his work with the Tommy gun while the president points at anyone, says, Ah, your country wants killing done. Do it now, boys. But the war itself is bad enough, it can break you down, no matter how tough, but the tragedy and hoopla stuff, it makes you think you can't do enough for the shiny symbol. And the other countries, they feel the same as we, and regret I have but one country to give for my life. Hi, my name is Chris. Karen. Oh, Karen Freed. <laughs> you affect cynical, but you're basically a bumpkin, aren't you? Uh, excuse me for being impressed, but I did my postgraduate research on the protest period. I was the protest period. It's not worth studying, kid. You want a short lesson on the 60s? Grow up. Move on. Harry. I didn't know where else to go. God, it's good to see you, even under the circumstances. Hi, sweetie. Oh, babe. You're looking great. Oh, Red Grady, Karen Freed. Red is a writer, Karen. Miss Freed? Hi, Red. I'll get you a glass. Hmm? All right. You doing a piece on Chris? I. Uh. I. Uh, I think I'm having an anxiety attack. Uh, do, do you, uh. Do you, do, do you mind if I, uh. lie down here for just a minute? Oh, God. Okay. Great. Well, I've been here before. Hey, Harry, give me a paper bag. 